off right. Raider! Man, I've been waiting all my life to do that. Joey McGuire filling out his coaching staff. Uh, big hires. Uh, we can start that off, obviously, with the uh, the Zach Kitley announcement as the OC. Um, Dustin, uh, what, what's your what's your initial thought, initial take on this? Um, I mean, I, I think it's a great hire, but I think it's a good move. Like, uh, what, what are you feeling over there? What are your thoughts? Yeah, Zach Kitley's a young, up and coming offensive coordinator across the country. Um, just had his first like big time OC job at Western Kentucky last year, and I saw earlier today was just announced as Conference USA Offensive Coordinator of the Year. His quarterback was uh, offense player at the conference. And I mean, they were high flying. They, he did the same thing at Houston Baptist. He was on the staff at Tech with Kingsbury. So obviously learned from a very good offensive mind there. So very young offensive mind, brings a huge passing game, loves to throw it around in the air raid. Basically should be back. For us. I think this is ultimately the best outcome. I, I wanted Kitley before the Cumbie announcement was, but it's hard not to root for Cumbie getting that job. But ultimately, him taking the La Tech job opened up the path for Kitley to come here. And yeah, Dustin just kind of threw out some of the accolades he's got this year. I mean, their quarterback threw for the uh, most yards or second most yards or most yards this season. He's almost caught Joe Burrow's touchdown record that he set a few years ago uh so you know obviously that offense is able to do exciting things and he's able to create space for receivers and let his quarterback sling it and yeah we haven't been able to see that really over the past several years since yeah. Mahomes left us I think what you're getting with him it's not a flashy hire, but it's a very experienced hire. I like I mean, it. That's what you want and need over there. You already have enough flash with your head coach and what your OC should provide. You just need some stability. You got to knows what he's doing over there. And I think that is a great addition to what's going to be on our defensive side. We got Mississippi State and uh, we, got the, we, got the, we got the Pirate. We got the matchup. We got, we got Mike... <laughs> what what's this shaking of your head no what what are, what are your thoughts oh no there? i mean literally that's about the only uh i guess highlight you can say for this matchup <laughs> is an off but props to liberty bowl and whoever matched this up because that's how you sell bowl tickets. game tickets yep for a six and six or seven and five matchup <laughs> in Memphis, I mean, hey, Memphis is a great a town former, to go to. Though, coach with a still an axe to grind against mm -hmm. his former employer in school, and that he was potentially rumored to go back to, and you know, there's all kinds of off-field storylines, and hey, that's fun. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's a lot of fun. I mean, uh, uh, not only is it a Big Twelve SEC matchup. But we we got we got the like little little kind of you know little 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 little, little drama sprinkles. Uh, Brooks, what what are your what are your thoughts on this upcoming bowl game on December twenty eighth? Yeah, I mean it's a definitely get your popcorn ready type of game. Like the Liberty Bowl probably doesn't draw that big a crowd all the time to yeah. tune into it, you know. But it'll get more eyes on it this year for sure, just because. Everybody in college football knows the history between us and Mike Leach. Yeah. And so that'll draw a lot of eyes just to see what happens. Hopefully we <laughs> vanquish the demons, you know. Maybe Thank we you. go in there, we win, and then we can, you know, get that Mike Leach off of the program and move on finally after 12 years. We can finally move on. That's kind of my hope is just whatever this game is, just gets rid of that kind of the pirate curse, you know, as people want to call it. And then we can... <laughs> Live our lives happily in the Maguire era. Catch y'all at the next tailgate.